You know, I don't just the gaming news. I give you the gaming news in an incredibly snarky way. Well, this is the gaming news as of December 27th of this week. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. We did. We had a 22 pound turkey and we spent the whole day after that eating turkey sandwiches. We pretty much ate it all except for our two turkey legs. So we're going to have those for, uh, for lunch tomorrow. I hope that you also had a good Thanksgiving and that you had a safe Black Friday because we all know that everyone is going to be out there basically stabbing everyone else in the back for a PS5 at the store. Anyway, on with the gaming news. Alright. Well, Linux gaming has been advancing quite a bit with some considerable advances to Valve's Proton API for compatibility layer for their Steam for their Steam Deck. Uh, also, Proton has also added support for DLSS, and NVIDIA has also released drivers that support DLSS on Linux. Now, there are some outlets that have been talking about this being supported on the Stream Deck, and some saying, no, it's not going to come to the Stream Deck. And let's clarify this, folks. DLSS is not coming to Valve's Steam Deck. Valve Steam Deck uses AMD. They're going to use Fidelity FX. Stop calling everything DLSS. You're smarter than that, so stop it. Let's move on. Alrighty then, all things... Um, not everything is rosy over at BioWare, and... They have been in a slump ever since Anthem basically broke. I was a beta tester for Anthem, by the way, and even I saw, are they seriously going to release this? You know, flying around stuff in a suit is pretty cool. It's like being Iron Man. But they're gonna release it in this state? Their release date was not long after the beta and it's gonna be released like this? I knew it was going to be a failure. I knew it was going to crash and burn. But anyway, they've been haunted by the failure of Anthem ever since. And well, uh, Matt Goldman, great up director of Dragon Age 4, has left the company. And that's the second high profile executive to leave that project. Before that, in December of last year, they lost Mark Dura who was left the company in December of last year. So, Dragon Age 4's development has been pretty troubled. They've been losing people on that project left and right. So, is that game ever going to get made? Is it going to be in development hell for another two years before it finally comes out? Or is EA going to do what they usually do to a company that starts having issues? Kill it. Like they killed every other company they've ever bought. Oh. Ah. Alright. Ah, this is gonna roll the eyes of every gamer who's not a 12-year-old. Fortnite's Chapter 2 is coming to an end on December 4th. Now, the, the second chapter has been marked by a lot of crossovers. They did crossovers with Dune and Naruto. So you can do the Naruto run in Fortnite. <sighs> this is... And also... That's not the biggest Epic news. Epic also recently acquired the developers of Rock Band and Guitar Hero. Yeah, Harmonix. They picked them up. And they say this is part of their big grand strategy to basically create their own metaverse. Which means basically everybody in their monkey's uncle wants to create the, the Matrix or Ready Player One. <sighs> and now, 
The news is brought to you by Gamers Bay. Gamers Bay is a community that is built by gamers for gamers. We originally started on Google Plus before Google sent it to the graveyard. We were one of the biggest and oldest gaming communities on that platform. And now we've had to start over completely from scratch over on MeWe. MeWe is a social media platform that is the anti-Facebook. They do not sell your data. They do not collect it. They do not run ads. They do have a uh, optional premium service for like $4 and I sign up for that because it gets you uh, free voice calling service along with it and a whole bunch of free emojis and everything but uh, you don't have to pay anything to use it and you don't have to pay anything in order to get views for your posts screw you Facebook and now a new segment that I'd like to call uh, news bites and no I am definitely not copying off of quick bits uh, let's see. Well, Asus's uh, ridiculously overpowered gaming cell phone, the ROG 5S and 5S Plus, or 5S Pro. Who, who wrote this? Oh, I did. Shit. Uh, the 5S Pro is finally available in the United States for purchase, if you can find it. Uh, this phone comes with the new Snapdragon 888 Pro. And the, the 5S has 16 gigs of RAM, and the 5S Pro has 18 gigs of RAM. So, you can play Fortnite at 60 FPS, or no, actually Fortnite on mobile actually runs well. It's PUBG Mobile. Maybe this can actually run PUBG Mobile above 15 FPS. All right, Amazon is in talks with to make a Mass Effect TV series. That's interesting. Uh, based on some recent tweets, a certain actor who plays a certain character who says fuck a lot might actually play Master Chief. Henry Cavill has been posting some tweets about a secret project he's a part of. And then this recently gets announced. Coincidence? Mmm. Oh, and the GTA Remastered Collection. Basically, the mobile games. Scaled up badly. With lots of bugs. Yeah, it's still shit. Well, apparently Rockstar is going to relist the original trilogy because when they released the remastered edition, they pulled the other games, the older ones, off the stores. Basically, the console stores and off of Steam. Well, they're putting them back on. Why? Because this, these remastered mobile game versions of you know, some of the best GTA games that were ever made, next to GTA 5, are shit. And that's the gaming news as of this week. Not a whole lot. Hopefully there's more. November is usually a full week for gaming news and gaming releases, and December is pretty much the same. So stay tuned for next week for more gaming news. I am Mike the Zorch. Thanks for watching.